What's going on everyone? Jeff here from The Float Life and today we got the Pint X. We're out here, we're gonna do a trail ride with a bunch of the XRs and the Pint X. See if it can keep up with the XRs, what the true mileage is, if uh, it's really gonna get what they're advertising or if FM's just capping. We're gonna find out today. So I will tell you, we've got a couple of upgrades on this guy right now. It's not just bone stock. So we did swap it for a Burris Extra Rad tire. And then I've got a Kushnug High on the rear here as well. And then we threw some TFL grip on the front and the back. But other than that, it's completely stock right now. We just fully charged it up. We're at, it says 99%, but we're at 100%. We left the charge in a whole bunch. I think today we're gonna ride in Pacific X, which is the new Pacific mode. There's also, I know a lot of people ride in Skyline, but that's more similar to Delirium. Pacific is a little more similar to Mission, so I prefer Pacific, but let's see what we can do. Let's get out there, see how many miles we get out of this, see if we can keep up with these bad boys. Let's go. trickier on the pint we got tiny little foot pads on here oh one other thing that i did mod on it i forgot to say i did posi the front sensor i was having some issues with it i think it's because i wear really soft soled skate shoes but we're posied now so we are good to go Uh, kick it, see if we can get it. Julian, see if you can keep up with this Pint X. Super fast. Oh, that nose scrapes so bad, there's no clearance. Ah! Yeah, you made it. Let's That's see if Travis can get it. He's prepared for it, though. Lose that board. <laughs> Couldn't even make it. Clearly, we are all professionals. <laughs> impressions on the trail it's it's pretty fun it's definitely fun um so i don't know i i can't stand the stock pint tire it's too rounded and firm for me the durometer is like way too high on it so it feels like you're riding on like a hard marble but after throwing the extra rat on it it's riding pretty fun it's whipping the trails for sure i think most people are going to be super happy with it on trails because of the fact that you're a lot of times you're really not pushing that 17 mile an hour mark on like the really tight turn fun trails so it's good it's got plenty of torque all the torque of the pint maybe even a little bit more possibly and if this battery actually runs as long as it's supposed to i think a lot of people are going to be pretty stoked with this thing so upgrade the grip upgrade the foot pad throw a new tire on there and this thing's kind of a little off-road machine it's pretty fun
right, let's check some stats. See where we're at. It looks like we've gone 1.7 miles so far on this one. We hit a top speed of 17.7. So we've been keeping it pretty mellow, not too crazy. But we're at 87% on this battery still. It's gonna take a lot of work to drain this thing. So 87, where are you at? 85. No way. Yeah. So there we go, so far. Pretty low pressure though. Oh pretty yeah, strong. to give you a heads up, Jake is running some pretty cool prototype stuff right now. What are we calling those bad boys? 50 50s? Well, mm -hmm. half and half? Half and half drop kit. Half, half and half drop kit. There you go. Half inch drop, rebuilt axle blocks. It's pretty fun board, super stable without losing too, too much clearance. Let's try to burn this battery. Oh, make it, make it. Ah, oh, she made it. in front of the lens now. What's up, you gonna give it a shot? Give it a shot. So you think of that Pint X? Yep. You selling original Pint? Oh, what am I on right now? Am I on, am I on some flat foot pad and a 5.5? Oh, what'd you put me on, Julian? <laughs> oh, it does feel pretty good though. No handle. Yep. No handle. So what's up? It's sweet. I really enjoy it. This thing is super fun. Um, I would say after you do a couple things to it, flowlife.com. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, it's sweet. Um, I mean, the fact that the battery bar is literally there's one little notch missing on the LED still, and we're probably what three miles into it. Yeah, at least. Let's check what we got. Yeah. Uh, Two point six miles, but we're at eighty-two percent so much battery life left on this thing should we uh should we get weird with some drops right now on it yeah possibly this might be too gnarly for a pint but let's find out oh this is gonna suck isn't it all right here we go pint power baby Woo oh barely got it dude this pint's whipping right now Woo! Little Pine X, baby. They can handle the drops, apparently. What's that? Yeah, kinda. We got a channel. Wouldn't call us YouTubers, but we got a channel. Oh, he's got it figured out. He's got the power stands. Yep. You know, like those things that you go water and you do like. Woo! There we go. Oh, this is way easier than a hoverboard. Way easier. See, look at that. You already got it figured out. There you go. Nice. Just look where you want to go, and it'll take you there. Oh, he's gonna give it a shot. First time. Oh, see, so you got it. Now look up. Look where you want to go. Perfect. Oh, there it is. I gotta be honest with you, man. If I could have a nug high in the front also, uh, and so there good. was no pushback, I would ride this every day. This would be my daily driver. It's nice because it's nimble and carvy. I think my biggest beef with the pint is that the foot pads are not wide enough and my heels and toes hang off too far. That's 100% my beef. Well, so, so that and the pushback are my only two complaints with yeah. it. Like other than that, this would be the perfect ride. I would ride this thing every single day if there was XR style pushback or no pushback, and then a nug high on the front, and I'd be like, so.
pushback? Oh yeah. Weird. First time ever riding it. Thoughts? It uh, it handles the trails pretty well. Uh, for me, I still hate the pushback. It is so aggressive. I felt like I was Captain Morganing the whole time. Uh, just I'm really used to riding the XR at a certain speed, and when I ride this at that same speed, just constantly bucking the nose up, uh, feels like it's trying to buck me off. Yeah, but you stood on you stood on for more than eight <laughs> seconds, so yeah. yeah. Rode that bull, baby. Hell yeah. But what do you think though? It's like, what do you think about the torque, the stability, all that kind of stuff? It feels I haven't ridden the regular pint too much, but it feels pretty similar to the regular pint. Uh, just the pushback comes slightly higher speed. Um, but uh, overall, yeah, didn't really notice uh, too much else different. Um, the tire's nice and nimble. Um, well, that's because it's got an extra rad on there. Yeah, I handled the trails pretty well. Um, but I'm just so used to the XR. I, uh, I, I don't think I could get used to this pushback, really. Sick. All right, well, if that's the case, let me back on her. <laughs> let me back on her. I'll take her. One percent here. Let's see if we can kill this battery. What do we got so far? We got ooh, 14 and a half miles so far. We gotta get this thing done. I don't think we're gonna quite hit 15 miles an hour. Miles an hour? We hit way past 15 miles an hour. Looks like we got up to. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. We got up to 21 and a half miles an hour on the Pine X today. A little scared to push it more because the pushback's insane on this. And then the tail's like a half inch closer to the ground also. So that's a little sketch. But we got a car coming. We're gonna kill it right now. We're at 1%. Let's finish it off. Ah, not much juice left on 1%. Gotta be coming soon. Yeah, you might beat me. I'm on uh, two, three percent. Oh, no, I'm right. sorry. Car, it goes a little bit past empty. A little bit past, yeah. Lots of fresh battery pack, you know. Oh, and the older battery packs will die like 15. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. oh it's happening. Oh, I'm gonna point this back towards the car. It's happening. It's finally happening. What did we get? Oh yeah, you're going red over there. Oh 15.1! 15.1! I'm gonna see how far I can ride it out. Fifteen point one miles on one full pint XR charge. That's insane. We were what, Jake? Ninety percent, probably ninety percent trail, ten percent yeah. street, and it went fifteen point one miles. That's insane. With my XR, I'll get like maybe eleven or twelve if I'm lucky. You overall, you did beat out the XR because you yeah. put on more miles just oh, riding it around. Totally. So it's officially confirmed the pint X. Outlast the XR on trails. That, a brand new Pine X. A, okay, let's be clear. A brand new Pine X outlasted the old 
4208, 4209 XRs with old battery packs in them that sometimes die like 15%. But that being said, as far as distance goes, the Pint X will absolutely 100% keep up with an XR. As far as speed goes, maybe not, but that is what it is. But this was just about range. So as far as range test, confirmed. Pint X is pretty awesome. And I got back to the car. Good. Yo, what up guys? Thanks for joining me on my Pint X Shred. Keeping up with those XRs. Surprised the heck out of me that the Pint was able to actually outlast the XRs. That was nuts. Thing super fun. Anyway, be sure to check out that video we got right over here and definitely subscribe right over here to our channel. That'd be awesome. We'd love it. Thank you guys and float on my friends. Let's go, buddy.